Alright, hello guys. Today we're going to be talking about an upcoming cooldown after the early August one. I'm going to be looking towards the future, towards middle of August, and looking at when we can expect our next cooldown for the eastern United States. But before I get started with this video though, I would ask that you do subscribe if you do like weather related content. I make all sorts of videos like this. And also check out our new social medias, which are going to be in the pinned comment and the bottom of the description. Let's get started with the video. Now, before I get started with it though, I would like to mention that I do get a lot of comments that are like, why do you only make forecasts for cooldowns and not warmups? You're always calling for cooldowns. Well, I've noticed through my year of making YouTube videos that when I am making a video about a warmup, it gets half the amount of views or less than a warmup video would. Now, if I'm only getting half the amount of views I normally would, I would rather just focus on something else that's more important, like a hurricane or something like that. So... I will make warm-up videos occasionally, but if there is anything else more important going on, I will make a video on that. Whereas a cooldown, it does get a ton of views and people seem to be very interested in when the next cooldown is. I'm not always calling for a warm-up, it's just when there is a warm-up being forecasted, I make sure to, I don't really, I'm not desperate to make a video about it because I know that it's not going to be a very interesting video for a lot of my viewers. So I hope that clears some things up. Uh, and we're looking at right now, this is the 30th, which is today, and you can see that our cooldown that I've forecasted for for August is already starting to take place. The Dakotas, Minnesota, down through the south central United States, all looking very cold, 4 to 7 degrees below average. I wouldn't say necessarily cold. A lot of people got upset that I said cold. Uh, I meant colder than average in my last cooldown video. Um, I'll try to use different wordage, but... Uh, if I accidentally slip, that's what I mean. When I say cold, I mean colder than average. Obviously, it's not going to be 32 in August. Moving on, though, we do see the 2nd of August. You can see that cold is going to move eastward, or that below average temperature region is going to move eastward from te Texas, Louisiana, eastward. There is some warmer areas there in the southeast, but besides that, we really have some colder temperatures there for the eastern United States. And you can see by the 5th, we see a warm-up start to take place, especially for the Great Lakes region, northeast, New England, those areas are all warm by this point. Minnesota, a little bit above average, so one to three degrees above average. The southeast is still a little bit chilly or below average, but ne we don't necessarily see anything too crazy. But you can see by the 7th, we start to see our next little bit of cool air move in from Canada into the Dakotas, Minnesota, Wyoming, Nebraska, Colorado, Kansas. And this is going to go ahead and move eastward as we move on, move on one. You can see it's not too far below average, but this is our next area of below average. It's going to be moving in. You can see from the Dakotas eastward, as long as you're north of Oklahoma, Arkansas, Tennessee, and North Carolina, you will be below average temperatures. Again, the Dakotas eastward into New England, the northeast, some portions of the mid-Atlantic, all below average temperatures by the 11th of August. So this is kind of our next cooldown that I'm looking towards into August, the middle portion of August. Again, there's going to be a little bit of a warm up there in between our two cooldowns. There's going to be one cooldown from the 1st to the 4th, and then now I'm expecting one from the 8th towards the 14th, where you can see there's still some below average temperatures there for the northeastern United States, but really starting to warm up there, not quite as cold as it was on the 11th. And you can see here is our seven day ensemble mean, which means this is basically from. This is from the 8th to the 15th, so right in our forecast range. And you can see we're seeing below average temperatures from Wyoming, Colorado, into the Dakotas, Nebraska, Missouri, Iowa, Minnesota, Wisconsin, Kansas, Missouri, Arkansas, Oklahoma, into the northeastern United States. So Indiana, Michigan, Ohio, Pennsylvania, New York, all of New England as well. We're all looking at slightly below average temperatures at this point. And I also want to mention the southwest, so the four corner states. We're all looking at slightly below average temperatures. This is a seven-day forecast. Again, this I'm not calling for anything crazy, okay? This is not going to be something that you notice too much. It's going to be a relief from the heat, but it is not going to feel cold for almost all of these areas. I mean, maybe if you're in, like, Minnesota or Wisconsin or Michigan, you would feel this a little bit, and it might feel a little bit chilly or at least bearable. But besides that, it's just going to be a relief from the heat a little bit. Now, we're going to move on to some of our teleconnections here, and I wanted to talk a little bit more about the reasoning behind why all of this stuff is happening. And I don't do this a lot because I think it gets a little too technical and a little too boring, but in this video, I felt like I wanted to do that. So right now, we're looking at our AO, and this one looks to go positive, actually, in the forecasted range. So this one isn't going to be really a factor, but it is going to stay about neutral or slightly below average 
for your AO. So nothing too crazy on the AO forecast here for you guys. We are going to move on, however, to the PNA, and you can see it's going to go negative for our first cooldown, actually, which is not a good sign for cold. It's actually really positive right now, and there wasn't too much of a cooldown a little bit, though. Uh, but you can see it's forecasted to go positive for our forecasted range for this one from the 8th through the 16th, which is going to help increase the chances of cold temperatures in the eastern United States, or colder than average temperatures. And then your AO, or your NAO, this is when things get really serious here. You can see we go far negative for the beginning portion of August, and this is really going to be what causes that cooldown, actually, for the beginning portion of August. And you can see it stays negative through about the 16th. So this is going to be a major player in what's causing all of this cooldown stuff. A lot of people think I'm just guessing when I make these forecasts. There is reasons behind it. I just don't show it in the video because I feel like it gets a little bit boring. You guys can correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that people trust me enough to where I can just put information out there and you guys can interpret it. And I don't really have to get too technical. But in this one, I'm going to go ahead and do that. So we're looking at our sea surface temperatures here, the anomalies that we have right now. And it's a little bit colder, colder than average there for the Gulf states. And then as well as the East Coast, we're starting to cool down a lot for you guys, which is really interesting. And that's going to be really, really interesting heading into fall and winter. Now, also, I want you to notice those very warm temperatures there just south of Greenland and Iceland. This is our NAO. That's what causes blocking and really helps cause the negative NAO. Uh, and this is really going to play into that being negative. And I think that we could be looking at a negative NAO winter, which is a huge deal, actually, just because of these temperatures. This is completely the opposite of what we had last winter. And this is a major player. And this is something we actually had in 2009 to 2010. So this feature sticks around. That might become an analog year really, really quickly. So stay tuned for that. I don't know if a lot of you remember the 2009 to 2010 winter, but it was crazy, guys. Trust me. So we're going to go ahead and look at the seven-day change as well. So this is the temperature anomaly and how much they've changed in the past seven days. You can see that huge cooldown for the east coast of the United States as well as the Gulf states that I was mentioning. And then you can also see those temperatures warming up there just south of Greenland, like I said, so that the, it's looking better and better, honestly. Uh, but for tropics, we're looking safer and safer as these temperatures cool down in the main development region, which is off the coast of Africa, headed westward. And then also for the coast of the United States, this is really good news, and it's going to try to hinder tropical development as we head forward into August and September, though I am really excited to see some tropical storms develop and forecast those for you guys. Lots of live streams coming up for that type of stuff, by the way, now that I... I uh, think I've found a good way to do it. I, I don't know if any of you joined the live streams like a month ago, but they were rough, guys. Trust me. Uh, and, and just in case you didn't believe me, what I'm calling for, here's Noah's 8 to 14 day outlook, which if you don't know what that date is, that's the 7th through the 13th. So right around our forecasted time frame. And you can see they're calling for cooler than normal temperatures from Montana into Wyoming into Colorado eastward, again, north of Oklahoma, Arkansas, Tennessee, and North Carolina. The only thing they have that I don't really is the little bit of warmer temperatures there up against the coast. But I think that's because this actual forecast period ends on the 12th. And I think that a lot of those colder temperatures are going to reach the East Coast a little bit after that. So I think that's the only reason we're seeing that. If not, I mean, this is still very, very close to what I'm calling for. So again, if you don't believe me, if you're like, oh, this guy doesn't know what he's talking about, he's calling for cooler than normal conditions, My the Weather Channel doesn't say that's going to happen. Well, Noah and me say it's going to happen. Um, and, and really, you just have to wait to see what happens and then see if you believe me or not. Because last time when I called for colder than normal temperatures in the eastern United States for the beginning of August, the 1st through 5th, uh, it's already looking like that's going to take place as we see the cold air pouring in for the central United States headed east. Uh, so it looks like that's playing out just the way I forecasted it to. And again, nobody believed me, but now you've seen it happen with your own eyes. So hopefully you believe now if you didn't believe before. Anyway, guys, I hope you really, really enjoyed this video. I want to talk a little bit more about the social media. Again, I'm going to be advertising these things heavily just because I think they're so, so cool. Uh, it's nonprofit. I mentioned that in the in um, my live stream, the Facebook page, Facebook group, Discord, and also the, what is it, the Twitter? That might be it. Oh, we have an Instagram as well. I don't know if I mentioned that, but all of them aren't going to make money at all, at least for right now. Maybe the Facebook page and the Instagram eventually, but for right now, none of all of them are nonprofit. It's just because I think it's cool. That's the only reason I'm making it. I think it's a good way to bring the weather community together. So please check out the links in the description if you have a Facebook, Instagram, Discord, 
or anything like that, uh, I would really appreciate for you to be a part of it, especially if you're interested in weather enough to be a subscriber of me. I think you would definitely, definitely love uh, the content that's going to be there and the, the type of community that I'm trying to build within these social media platforms. Anyway, guys, I really, really hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you in the next one. Anyway, guys, have a great day and have a great beginning half to August.